If you missed the last video, this channel's coming to an end, but an end with a bang. This tournament will consume our lives for the next month and a half as we battle and see which one of us is the supreme duelist, specifically with decks of not hyper competitive nature that run on this channel and are popularized by people viewing them. Today's decks are going to be Ojamas, who have always been a fan favorite just because of how stupid they are against Atlanteans, because I won a good old fight club competition years ago by using Sea Serpents and Unlikely Victor. And I do love my Unlikely Victor. Oh my victors. god, I just realized, Isla. What up? You're, you're nothing but a, you're, you're nothing but like an ocean sea creatures, right? Like sure. stuff you would see, like maybe splashing out by the ocean. Yeah, and you're all, you're a bunch of guys swimming around in speedos. Good luck. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We're a bunch <laughs> of speedo guys. All right, not a fantastic hand for the sea serpent. So I will have to send away Trident, who you know not probably one of the worst cards in this deck, um, but it will allow me to get one of the best cards in this deck, Neptibus, the Atlantean Prince. Um, now with this, I could set myself up a little bit. Um, I'm going to use it, sending a card you know. to the graveyard, being Atlantean Dragoons, and adding to my hand. Uh, I, man. You know, what if Ojamas just take it all? They're the final deck standing. It won't be, but you can try. Um, <laughs> what if What if they are, though? Hey, good for them, then, in that case. I think... <laughs> let's see, we'll be able to actually summon something here. It's just what do I want to set myself up for it is the real question. Uh, I guess I'm going to... Can I call the Atlanteans? Yeah, no, not really. And I might be banishing to get more good things moving for next turn. So we're just going to set up for next turn. We're going to add heavy infantry to the hand. Uh, that'll allow me to add to the uh, hand. Yeah, because none of this goes to the field right away. Um, we could just add all the good stuff we need to the hand right now. Sure, why not? We'll add a deep sea diva. So next turn's combo is secured. But we can do a little something else. And we can add another Sea Serpent uh, from my deck to my hand if I were to banish my Trident. But we're not going to be doing that. We are going to, in fact, summon the Trident. Just to put something on my field by this card effect. As do Ooh, actually, I get to normal summon again? Did I? Oh, okay. Um, we're going to keep playing then. <laughs> I can summon a Deep Sea Diva. I'll summon a Deep Sea Diva. There we go. Activate that, I suppose. And that will allow me to special summon. Man, I don't know who I want to special summon. But we can do some good things. Um, of course, we could try to really limit your hand with a deep sea card of some kind. But I guess we can see what's in your hand a little bit. I don't have a ton of great plays to go into here. So maybe we'll just go ahead and special summon a heavy infantry like this. Sure. And yeah, we don't need to banish anything from the graveyard. Um, but do we want to go into someone fun? There is a few options. There's mostly turn two options, if I'm being entirely honest. But that's okay. Do we go into a Poseidra here? Or do we go into a Deep Sea Prima Donna? It's just you don't really have anything to scare me just yet. So, what shall I do? Yeah, this is a... You got a full two... Oh, yeah, that's right. Deep Sea Diva is a tuner. Yes, I always so kept I thinking can go into a few other things. Why did I? Because he's a level one. I kept thinking that the Neptibus Prince was a tuner. Oh, okay. I kept back then. I remember that. I remember that was an issue where I kept targeting it, thinking it was the it was a tuner. But then I always had to remind myself that it's Deep Sea Diva that's a tuner. Gotcha. Well, uh, I don't see any co-linking happen here, so we're gonna summon a uh, Mermail Abyss Lacia. We're gonna go kind of simple right here um we'll use the atlantean prince and just to keep it in defense mode we'll uh, just try to keep material in the field get abyssalacy out here and i think we might just call it there i could summon up a sidra right now in all honesty but it just doesn't seem like it's gonna do a ton for me. i could do a coral anemone which i guess is still worth doing um do i have zones as points too yeah okay we'll, we'll play the um Marincess game, shall we? No reason not to. And we'll put out heavy infantry. And yeah, everyone else can just chill in the grave. Oh, might as well activate this this turn. We'll do that. And banish just the uh, Trident. So we can get to my hand. Uh, let's do a Deep Sea Diva to start that combo again next turn. And is there anything else spicy I want to 
consider doing. Man, I can normal summon more? Gosh. Um, special summon another. I'm going to keep going. I don't get to play like this with this deck too often. So let's do a second deep sea diva in the turn. It's up at three now. Maybe I'll let it be up at three. So get the deep sea minstrel here. Sure. That sounds like the most viable option. Deep sea minstrel. Can uh, I believe return to the deck? Um, graveyard deep sea diva. Why not? And from the graveyard, I could just summon a regular procedure right now for one thing. Um, or we could go into a nice fun Zealantis. Now, I don't think Minstrel, um, yeah, it's only when it summons like that. It gets this real fun effect when it's special summoned. And I don't have anything tremendously crafty to go into. Um, however, we can probably co-link a few things here. So, sure. Yeah, let's go for it. I will use you, you, and... We'll use the Deep Sea Diva just to have one less scary thing on the field to go into here to get the World Sea Dragon Zealantis out here. Now, what is the effect? They can banish all monsters on the field, then special summon as many who are banished by that effect to their owner's fields. Oh, so I can use him to put the arrows where I want them is the real idea there. I didn't have more water monsters to uh, dance around that, so nothing really crazy going to happen. But I think that was my first time really using him. So we'll end turn there. And see what happens all right let me see it, it i forgot how long atlanteans can take to figure out what is like the best play for you guys i don't think that's atlanteans fault i think that was very much on me i didn't know what to do for a turn one play with these guys so we just played True. everything we could because i overextended right. plain and simple but i wanted to see where i could go mm -hmm. and i'm playing against ojamas if you're not gonna mess around against ojamas you're playing it wrong all right, bring out Ojama Blue and Ojama Yellow. Great start. All right, then I will use them. I will use my Ojama Yellow to bring out my Link Spider. Link Spider will allow me to normal summon a, a normal monster from the hand. Excellent. Come out Ojama Green. Now, using both Ojama Green and Ojama Blue, I bring out Ronin Raccoon. Ronin Ooh, Raccoon. Ooh, juicy. Starting. Brings out the little token. Okay. There goes my power. Um, eclipsed or matched. All right. Now that the battle phase has happened, I can use uh, his effect and destroy cards up to the number of Co-Links monsters here. So, um, yeah. I guess we'll certainly target the uh, Kagamusha Raccoon token. And, yeah, we can do two. Of course, he protects himself. But, hey, that's yeah, battle that phase. Yeah, that was. I forgot that that was an effect. I'm not going to lie. I mean, we haven't played with a lot of Zealantis. It's not on you. <laughs> ah, Cerberus. Very good. So, a lot of extra expenditure from both of us, but we'll see what it comes down to. Ooh, that's the card I want to see. Call of the Atlanteans. Oh. oh, no. Oh, no. That means I can, um, well, I can't special summon other monsters when I use Call of the Atlanteans, so don't get too scared. Um, but, you know, that means I can do a Poseidra next turn. So that's nice. All right, what can my Coral Anemone do? It can just keep summoning water monsters for me. So let's start off by getting, um, of course, our Deep Sea Diva needs to be special summoned to get its wonderful effect in. So that won't be huge, but we can grab a Neptibus, and he'll be able to get his effect, I believe. So put that out and... I guess attack mode doesn't particularly matter too much. Activate its effects into the graveyard dragoons. We know their song and dance. How many water monsters do I have in the graveyard? Way too many. We are not seeing a mole and glacier just yet. Um, well, could we facilitate it? I can get you out. No, we're not even close, man. All right, so I will add to my hand now a another beside you. Sure, um, a marksman maybe. Yeah, there's not a ton I can add right here. Um, but sure, we'll add the Bethesda since I just used uh, all the Atlanteans. Don't need him, but he's here. So we got that. We'll grab the Deep Sea Diva. And then we want to make some room on my field, most likely. Um, ooh. Let's, let's summon a Lapis Dragon. Why not? No, it's not as good as a Deep Sea Diva, but we've only used it a couple times. Ooh. And that can go into some fun synchro plays. So what is the next choice? We... Still have it normal summoned. We will activate our deep sea aria. 
uh, get ourselves out of the graveyard um, from Malabistius. And I guess now we'll add Deep Sea Diva to the hand. Why wouldn't you add one of your best cards to your hand? And, oh wow, I really can't go into much here. So, if I were to summon my uh, Deep Sea Diva, it wouldn't have anywhere to go. So, let's summon Heavy Infantry, just as is, and see if I can go into anything fun. We can go into a Prima Donna. You don't have any banished cards to mess with, but it would be fun. Uh, do I have any tuners on the field? Um, oh, yes, he is a tuner. So, yes, but I need that space there. So, you know what I'll do? We're just going to summon Poseidra now. We have pieces out that can do it. And things will now happen. Um, we use this to destroy him. We use him to bring out other things. Special summoning from the graveyard. Yeah, let's just make it impactful here. There we go. Multiple of those. And yeah, I think that's the uh, turn here. And um, we'll just set our call of the Atlanteans for next turn. Go to a battle. And hit you with all these. Um, we <laughs> don't win. No, oh, you're just short, aren't yeah. you? Um, but I have a plan on what to do to help myself out a little bit. So. But at least you don't have a target and destroy immediately if I play anything, so. Not precisely, but I do have Mermail Abyss Once per turn, I can detach. Uh, during either player's turn, detach and negate effects of all face-up monsters with less attack than this card. So... That may be beneficial to me. And my turn. So one big strong negate. I had to use two Poseidras to get there, but it's worth oh, it that's, going into your that, turn. Nah, you, you got this. Um, So I made a boo-boo. The card I discarded was Ojama Black, right? Yeah. I The card I drew off of my uh, Cerberus was Ojamatch. Send one Ojama card to the field. Add two card, one old drama monster with a different name, and one arm dragon, which would have been on my starting Aww. arm dragon level three. But the issue is, I don't have. I got rid of my last old drama card. The other cards were all thunder dragons, and the card I just drew was thunder dragon level ten. Okay. Darn. Yeah. That would have been a beautiful comeback if I would have gotten that. Definitely, but I mean, you had to use your uh, Cerberus because if Zelantis was still out right now, he'd only be getting stronger. No, 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 because I realized my mistake. I should have sent my level Something seven else. to the grave. Yeah. Because then I would have gotten the benefit, I think. Oh, you get a search when you send those guys away too, don't you? Yeah, I think I forgot about that. I thought they were they. I thought they were the stipulation of if this card is sent to the graveyard by Thunder Dragon effect or something. Yeah. And by Thunder Dragon, it means Armed Dragon Thunders. I don't think you yes. actually have Thunder Dragons in that deck. No, I don't. All right, well, we let the uh, Neptibus, the Prince, get it. And would you like first or second? I guess I still like going second in that okay. regard. First again for me. I don't think it's a good thing for me to go first, so that's fine. Oh, um, yeah, you know, you're, you're an OTK deck, so. I, not so much OTK, but I mess with you significantly is my main goal. So I need a field to mess with. Um, we did get ourselves a one-for-one -one off our Maria of Greed, thankfully. So I intend to use it. Now, do how far do I want to use cards here? We could use our Abyss Megalo, but not a lot to go for here. Deep Sea Minstrel can uh, work with stuff to banish you. Um, but I think we're going to get rid of the Deep Sea Minstrel because I would love to use Abyss Megalo if I can. We're going to special summon Prince, one of the main cards of the deck. And that will allow me to send Dragoons. That'll allow me to search two cards effectively. So, to my hand, we will get... Do we go for an early call of the Atlanteans? That could be fun. Yeah, let's do it. And then a Deep Sea Diva, probably, with our other search. Because, um, yeah, we got two right there. Now, actually, if we send grab something... No, we don't have anything perfect. Because I'd love to get another uh, water monster to my hand. I probably could have facilitated something a little scarier here. But, as I said, we'll set ourselves up for next turn. And hope we can make the best of it. Um, or we could just use the Deep Sea Diva and then probably be able to bring it back next turn. It's always tempting to just use all the good cards because you have them. But it's going to go huge if I use it next turn. So let's just be a patient boy. But if I use it, I'll get it all back anyway. Who cares about patience? Let's use Deep Sea Diva now. And with that, we can go and additionally summon 
Uh, we could get Poseidra to the grave just if we summon the Trident. That's an option. I don't think there's anything too crazy we need to go with for this. So, sure. We'll do that. And try to limit our um, overextending this turn. I know we didn't do that last turn, but maybe this turn we shall. And now the options are, of course, to go into the Deep Sea Repertoire, which can discard, gain attack, get synchro bonuses that are going to get destroyed by next turn anyway. Go into Abyssal Asia or even uh, Coral Anemone which I guess is always kind of a good play for this. So, mm -hmm. yeah, we'll do a Coral Anemone. 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 You're like that kid from Finding Nemo. It's like, exactly. Anemone. 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 And that'll special summon. You. Oh, my God. You're that little octopus. You're that little octopus. I, <laughs> I did ink. You guys made me eat. <laughs> um, oh, actually, we could have set ourselves up here and... Uh, Got ourselves a Mooling Glacier to hand and been able to use it, but I'm a dummy. So we will return to the deck. How about Dragoons? Always want more copies of that in the deck. The bottom it goes. And for funsies, uh, do we go further? We don't have much further to go. We could do the Zealantis play again, Technic. No, we couldn't get quite there. And it's not like it was the scariest of plays anyway. So let's just keep setting ourselves up. We're gonna send that away. Get up a side draw here. That's fun, right? And, oh, never mind. We accidentally sent Poseidon to the graveyard anyway, so we didn't need to do that. But there, there's what we got. We'll see what comes of it. I will end turn there. No uh, negates, no counterplace. Just power. Okay. Ooh, okay. I'm going to activate my continuous spell, Arm Dragon Lightning, Excellent which you know start. is a nice, uh, good card. But I also, I drew a beautiful hand this time. I drew Oja Match. Yes. By discarding that card, I can draw. I can get any card I, I want. I am so Ultra dumb. Ball. I did all my choices so I could use my Call of the Atlanteans and didn't even set it on the field. And then normal summon oh. one card. I'm going to summon my Ojama Red. Because Ojama Red activates its effect. I can uh, oh. special summon another Ojama card. But then I also normal summon my Arm Dragon level 3. Okay. Not a I'm lot of cards left in your hand to discard, but let's see what they are. Well, that's a good start. <laughs> Get a benefit off five. And adding to my hand, my level seven. Oh, Activate. Gosh. Sending that away to special summon in my level seven. <laughs> oh, man, he's <laughs> allergic to dragons. I feel like it. And then uh, adding the level five to the hand. All right. If you send the five again, you won't get its effect off, but you'll get your 10 out. No, no. I didn't send my level five from the hand to the grave. I mean, that was the only one I didn't. You just did and did earlier, I thought. It was the first one oh. you sent. I should have brought level one because that would get me an extra draw. Yeah, then. if you had the three, you would have at least gotten another draw. But either way, big benefits either way. Big strong monster that can beat my big strong monster. All right, then gain attack points. Lovely. I can't break that with any of my standard plays. Okay. Okay. I'm going now. I am going to use these uh -oh. two monsters. Yeah, I guess you might as well. Oh, gosh. <laughs> with the Ronin Raccoon. Yes. the highest attack monster on the field. Wow. Man, I wish I set my call of the Atlanteans like I planned to. It's on me. <laughs> I mean, I basically get to Poseidra and at least send away the Armed Dragon Lightning, but... Big damage. All right. And you have a target destroy whenever you please. Oh, wait. Yep. Yeah, you got a card in your hand. You're good. And, prote and protection as well. Mm-hmm. With the Armed Dragon Lightning. Okay, how do we play Yu-Gi-Oh? Let's find out. Uh, we drew one of our Mermails, which is just a card that wants to be discarded. So I suppose we're going to open up with Mermail Abyss Megalo, because that'll get me some immediate payoff. Send those two away. Out it comes. And that will allow me to target destroy. So um, we attempt to do so. Also, he can uh, use his effect. And you can use your effect, which allows me to target a mermail in my graveyard and special summon it. Activate. Sending that away. 
Send away that card. Yep. Very good. So we get stuff, but it's uh, a little too late for us to stop everything. Of course, you were able to protect yourself as we had established. Uh, I can use Surface now and get myself a Neptibus, which is nice. Um, but now we have to find a, find a way. Because I have the uh, Abyss Scale, which is really nice. I can stop your spells. That, like, if I could have chained that in a better way for me, then it would have been great. But, you know, wouldn't. So we'll do this. Send to the graveyard of Dragoons. And get myself... I don't know what I want in my hand. We'll grab another... You know, we'll grab Marksman, because... It's not like we're going to need to do too much here. Uh, yeah. Or we can do heavy infantry. Nah, we'll do marksman. All right. And that means I can add to my hand once again. Certainly no Moulin Glacier plays. So, deep sea diva it is. Not so that I know precisely where I mean to take this turn, but this will be a part of it. So, we'll do that and consider our terrible, terrible options. Um, really just link spamming and get a Zealantis might be an option. Um, what can I do with my Prima Donna? Um, once per turn target one of your banished cards. <laughs> I can't set that up yet. Um, so that's not going to do it. This discard gain 800 attack. Wow, that's not enough attack. So I'd love to get another level 7 out. So Poseidra, you're the goal. So special summoning another card. Um, we're going to do heavy infantry just so it'll allow me to normal summon again. I don't think I need it right now, but it's useful. So, normal summon. Now, that appears to be the extent of those plays. I do have some Ice Jades and, ooh, a Trishula in here. That could be pretty fun. Um, do I go Trishula here? Because, yeah, I could bring up a Sidra, and then I could use two level sevens to go into some other fun things. But I think Trishula is the move. So, let's try it. Is it the best option? Who knows? But here we go. Spanish, Spanish, Spanish. Yay! Darn it. Yeah. Um, anything else spicy for me to accomplish here? I think... Yeah, we don't really have anything I didn't, crazy. I, actually, I honestly didn't expect you to put Trishula in there. Yeah, big old water monster in a uh, deck that uses some... Uh, it's really the deep sea stuff in here that allows me to dip into the uh, synchro side of things. More specifically, the D.Va. But yeah. Actually, we're going to keep the uh, Marksman in attack mode for this turn so he gets a benefit. So we'll do that, then we'll consider moving cards around. So you're still in know. it, but I think we both know how this duel's going. Yeah, I don't know if I have any more, like, single card draws, honestly. Mm -hmm. Out comes Dragoons. I can get another attack in. Um, and I don't think I have anything super spicy to go into after all that. But... Um, yeah, it's not, not time for Zealantis. Um, but you know what we will do? We will set ourselves up a little bit extra spice. Just a Miss Star Boy to give me that little extra edge of power. Let me draw Red Geki. Let me draw Red Geki, even though I, it's on this it deck. Help. <laughs> However, now I remember to set my Call of the Atlanteans, so undoubtedly I can bounce back if this field does get destroyed. Ooh, actually. Wait, no. I need Nothing a card at least one. Yeah. Yeah, if you got that and like a level five in your hand, you could go, but we know those plays have already gone through. Yeah, if I draw on any of the pot cards, maybe I could have drawn I could have done more, but what maybe. can you do? Yeah. Oh, down to a hundred, that's sad. Um, and... <laughs> yeah, I can't even finish me off. I couldn't even finish myself off. <laughs> yep, call the Atlanteans can of course bring all these wondrous cards out. So I got all kinds of good things to go for next turn. Not that I needed more, but there it is. And uh, I suppose no one's grand surprise. Uh, looks like the uh, sea serpents, the Atlanteans, will move forward in this tournament. Now, the bad thing is they do have to fight uh, some scary cards. Yeah, they have to fight Red Eyes. They have to fight Dragoon. Um... So it's going to be interesting. I'll summon Dragoon to finish this off. Hopefully it'll be a good luck charm. Um, we got two imagine, Dragoons right there. Imagine, imagine Ojama's made a pass and it'll be like, Silo, which one do you want to play? You want to play Red Eyes or Ojama? Right. <laughs> All right. But yes, I will uh, finish you with Dragoons and symbolism to hope that I can beat Red Eyes Dragoon in the next round of this tournament, which is going to be a bit from now. Ladies and gentlemen, you have 14 other uh, duels to witness, matches to witness in this first round of the tournament. 
we are not leaving any of our favorite decks behind. That's not true. We had a list of like 20 and we left four behind. Huh. But, you know. Yeah. There's there's a lot of good decks to see. Should we say what next week is? Should we tell them that it's Dark Magician vs. Dystopia? Yeah, might as well. Well, I just for, did. So, that could be for anyone, spicy. For anyone who doesn't remember, Dystopia was an old channel favorite from the start of our channel. You guys loved yeah. it. So, we're bringing it back. Mm-hmm. So we'll see if they have any chance with new support. Obviously, there's tons of new level one support that could be very good for them. Um, but Dark Magician is Dark Magician, baby. That's all I yeah. need to say about that. Um, I, I don't know if Atlanteans can beat Red Eyes, but I'm hoping. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Leave a like, and we'll see you next time. See ya, folks. Thank you.